Welcome to Can We Talk? I'm Derek. And I'm Sonia. Thank you for watching. Today's episode is entitled, Who Do I See Looking Back at Me? <laughs> so can we talk? <laughs> Why do you crack up every time I give the title? Because I don't know which... <laughs> we go through this every single time. I know, time. and you just bust out laughing. Why? Because it's a surprise. I told you, <laughs> like Jack in the Box. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. And so this, this, this episode is actually entitled to a couple that we saw in counseling this week that inspired uh, this title. So thank you, you guys. We're going to keep you anonymous, but you know who you are. And as we were talking about the challenges of marriage, they are newlyweds. And as we were talking about the challenges of marriages, um, they recognized in the session that who they are is being shown by the the stress and the strain that marriage sometimes puts on an individual and you end up seeing things about yourself that you didn't really accept or appreciate or acknowledge and so this couple as they were talking about some of their challenges realized that they were actually stimulating um, new things about themselves that either they didn't realize was there or was there and they didn't own it. And so this segment is actually going to kind of explore what that looks like in um, real time in our marriages. So before, we- Before you, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought for mm -hmm. me? I want to acknowledge the men. I made a statement about three episodes ago. I said, the men don't watch these vlogs. I said that. Mm. They got and, on you? <laughs> no, they ain't. Oh. Well, I wish they would. Okay, can you okay. Can so you trying to fight somebody? I'm not trying, trying to, to fight somebody. I'm not trying to fight anybody. You want to hurt somebody. <laughs> so, no, I just want to say, I said about maybe four or five vlogs ago that the men don't watch. And this past week, at least four men have said, dude, I watch them vlogs, man. Yep. See? I'm getting something from it. Dude. And they subscribe. I'm like, and they I saw the about, I saw a few subscribers and they were men. They this were week. men. So, so kudos I, to the men. I, I, I eat crow. Thank you, men, for yeah, watching. So I just wanted to say that before I forget, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to the men. Shout yeah, out to, to the, the men. men. See, so, so you can't make those blanket statements anymore. Well, I can do what I want to do, but I'm just saying. You shouldn't make those blanket sh statements anymore. Sure, this conditional does not reflect what You're it is. You're real combative today. I, Okay, let me get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I'm fired up. From so marriage is a mirror. Who do who is it that I see looking back at me? And actually that just say dot 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 when I say I do. Who is it that I see looking back at me when I say I do? So when I get married, when I got married to Derek, I thought, you know. The sun <laughs> rose and set on me. <laughs> she did, for real. I am the Nubian queen, and this is who I am. And there was nothing wrong with me. My stuff didn't stink. I was the bomb diggity. I am the bomb diggity, but you know. And you smell good, too. Oh, What's thank that? You, What's thank that? you, thank you. Stay, stay focused. Stay focused. It's messing me up right now. <laughs> Go ahead. It just hit me when you moved the scent. Bam! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that thing it. just yeah. It, it you just, got a little pheromones going. Yeah. yeah. Keep on so, talking. I sniff. Huh? <laughs> Remember the time we said he was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, we have All had right. a week, and so yeah, we are we acting just, really silly. All right, go ahead, go ahead. So Stay please forward. bear with us. Right. Okay. So so um so when I got married to Derek, you know, it, he drew he he drew it to my attention that. I actually had some things to work on, which was really hard to hear because when you think your stuff don't stink and you feel like the sun sets and rises on who you are because you feel like you're all that, you know, I didn't feel like I was all that. I just had a lot, I had high self-esteem, but I wasn't conceited by any stretch of the imagination, I don't think anyway. No, you weren't. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> he started saying things like, you know, you are... Uh, heartless and you don't know how to say I'm sorry and you you know you you just have a real low tolerance for people emotionally figure that out because I'm a therapist right and I was like that's not true and he was like you're impatient and I'm like no I'm not I'm just about 
precision and time and being correct and um, having good performance and, you know, um, being assertive and, you know, and it dawned on me that when he was saying that, it didn't matter what I thought. If his perception of me was what it was, then I needed to address his perception of me. And here's the problem. A lot of y'all get married and unless you're, I say this, I always say this disclaimer, y'all know that by now, unless you married a sociopath, and I'm gonna give you all the definition of a sociopath later, but they actually have absolutely no um, sense of right or wrong, um, and they have no ability to be introspective to see that what they're doing is wrong. Um, that's just a general phrase for a sociopath, but you know, there are people that walk around um, killing people and they see nothing wrong with it. They have the people that, you know, rape, they see nothing, but they're sociopaths. They usually pass lie detector tests because they actually believe their lie. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. So, unless you're married to a sociopath, and if you need a little bit more of a clinical definition, hit me up later, but if you're not married to a sociopath, then usually what your spouse is saying about you is probably true. Mm. And your friends aren't telling you your family might have told you, but they got tired of you or they just got tired of saying it. But, you know, the people that work with you may not say it, you know, but if your spouse is saying something to you, then you need to look in the mirror that he is seeing or she is seeing. So that's why the title of today's episode is, who do you see looking back at me? Hmm. Who do I see looking back at me when I said I do? You know, the, the hardest thing for men, and I always come back to us for a moment, is for the mirror to be shown on us because that means we have to be held accountable. And, and so I'm shifting or adding to what you were saying, you know, for anyone really, but just to be held accountable. So when, when someone shows you, when your spouse shows you the mirror, is saying that, look at the things that you're bringing and how it impacts me. And it's difficult for me to receive that information because we don't want to be told that we got a flaw in us. We don't want to be told that there's things in your character. Sonia, you know, she thought that she was all that and she pretty much was actually. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> and but you weren't conceited, though. Um, it was a little intimidated, intimidating. It was a little much for me because I wasn't used to... Um, women bringing it like that because um, I was used to women bringing it like that mm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. if y'all yeah so and you weren't even bringing it like you, should, you know except for the, like the third date and then, <laughs> what did I do on the third date you know what you did on the third <laughs> date <laughs> what did I do on the third date I don't even remember our third date you want me to remind you yeah I got to hold up Anyway, so getting back to my point, um, so it's hard. It's hard for us to be held accountable. So if someone has a mirror, and see, in marriage, you know, you you sometimes you come to the marriage with a facade. You know, sometimes most people. Well, some people don't. Some people come. You remember you you you, you remember your facade? Yeah, we're not talking about my facade. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. I remember it. <laughs> when you used to go to the car to get your asthma spray. Oh, yeah. Or were you really do it? I was farting. Right. <laughs> I was cutting it. Well, you know, when you date, you're not trying to break when we're dating. But that's a facade. Oh, yeah. I thought you were something else. You know, no. Yeah, that's yeah. A yeah, but that is. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we, I was coming but by. But now. But hold on, me on. Oh, no. Just since let you, it rip. Since you mentioned it. Right now, okay. Derek would just let right, it rip it, right now. Can, can you calm down? Okay. Bring it down. Okay. All right. So I'm hot. When, we were, when we were dating, facade, I didn't want to, I didn't want to fart in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> Who farts on dates? <laughs> so I used to say, I need uh, uh, asthma. I had to go to the car and get my asthma spray, and I just let it out, and then come back. I used to be like, how many times did he forget his asthma spray in the uh, car? About 15 times a day. Gosh. Because you was feeding me that, that new vegetarian food. I'm Are like, you sure you were I eating the veggie meat? So we, got, we got time. We used to stay forward. <laughs> but we're talking about looking in the mirror and being able to be held accountable. So the facade comes. But then at some point, marriage arrives. Yeah. And when marriage arrives, then the mirror has to be has to be put up and oh. say. And the thing about it is this. Yeah, look at yourself. When when 
So let's, let's just shift it for a minute. So say if Sonia, back in the day, she was bringing it. She had a smart mouth. She used profanity. I couldn't get a word edgewise in. And so just imagine. So I'll tell you what. Talk to me. Let's just talk to me like you did something that you got upset about, right? Okay. And then, and then keep on talking. No matter what I do, keep on talking just crazy stuff towards me. Okay. And this is back in the day. I remember so, this is this is really straight up off the cuff. And keep in mind, watch what happens. So you don't, don't stop. Whatever I do, don't stop. You said that we were going to go to church together, and you, you took another shift. I don't understand how you couldn't just tell me that instead of just not showing up at church. But let me tell you what that happened. That just really pissed me off. Look, I, I can't even understand how you didn't think that that was inconsiderate. Can I tell you what and, and again, that happened before. We had a long conversation about it. You said that wasn't going to happen again, and then it happened again. So what am I supposed to do? Look, the next you time you say you're going to do something, am I supposed to believe you? I don't think I'm going to believe you. So I don't understand what the point of communicating is if you're not going to you're do too, the things uh, that you say you're going to do. Because I do what it I doesn't make no sense to me. Well, it doesn't make sense because you talk so much and it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? What I just said makes sense. Keep on talking to me. What I meant, what I just said meant, made sense. So as she's talking to me and want to curse me out, I'm making her look in the mirror at herself. Mm. So it's, what if we did that? What if people actually could do that in relationships? Ooh, so, so like walk so around with a portable mirror. So let me do it. Let me do it verse. Okay. You know what? I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm just tired of you just doing, just talking and what getting on my nerves. What are you talking nerve. about? I'm not talking, you always cut me nerves. off. And you know what? The other thing is that you keep on bringing my family up into this and my father. You know what? You getting on my debt. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna get me a drink. You know. <laughs> Don't get a little crazy as hell. I mean, heck. <laughs> now, but the reality is that the things that I'm saying to my spouse and the things that she was saying to, to myself, and she didn't use any curse words, but back then, it will reflect off of the mirror and back. So I'm really talking to myself. And that should, mm. th that should create in me some type of like, why is that coming out of my mouth? Mm. I'm going to do what? I'm gonna go and do what I want to do. You're talking to yourself, and this and, and that's the, the purpose of this is mm. to, to put the mirror in front of the other person so you can see the how reflection, you look, how you really how look. you look and appear to the other person, right? Because we even have um, nonverbals. We had a couple this week, you know, emphasize that his wife doesn't have to say right. a word. She didn't have to say a word because her facial expressions said it all right and it wasn't necessarily positive messages she was sending right so she could look in the mirror mm -hmm. to see what he sees right and for him to look in the mirror to see what she sees you'll have a different perspective on who that person is mm -hmm. so hopefully that makes sense so one one more example one, did you have anything else to add because that was some no that was a good example yeah so i, I think it's important for us to see what the spouse sees when they look in the mirror. So if I look in the mirror at myself, okay. Oh my, okay. So if I look in the mirror at myself, my spouse should lean over and see what I see. Mm -hmm. So what do you see, honey? You see me, mm -hmm. right? You mm -hmm. see me. So let's let's do this. So we have. Get your back, honey. Get my bag. Get your bag. So. How come my bag doesn't look the same? This is the only bag I could find. You had bags up they, in the they closet. They their bags. But match. there was no bags that matching up in there. Did. I didn't see any bags. The kids, can, you know, I don't know what the bags. Whew. So anyway, the bags are not matching. What you want to do is stop and go get a new bag. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is, this bag is my bag. That bag is Sonia's bag. So we're going to exchange bags, okay? And so what we're going to do is... Can go I inside. look in here? I'm about to... Um, yes, absolutely. So the first thing on the, on the first thing in your bag, tell me what you see. I see a bill. Pull it out. I see an electric bill. Yeah, we got to pay that. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, don't, that wasn't how much it is. Yeah, we got to pay that one. 
I didn't mean to put these in there. That's a gas. Oh, water that's bill. a water bill. Yeah, we got to pay the water okay. bill. Okay. That, okay, that really wasn't part of the exercise. What? No. <laughs> Why you got bills in there then? So go in, your, go in that bag that's and pull out the top thing. The top thing. The top. The first thing. I'm pulling out the top. The top thing was the bill. Okay, the next thing. The Why next you had thing, a bill in there? Just don't worry. Not worry about the bill. What do you see? Oh, move, move this over. I see move you over, in your honey. Marine Corps uniform. So, tell me what you see. Tell me I see, see my husband in his Marine Corps uniform, a go man, deep. a man who was about to go to war and didn't even know what he was doing. Go deeper. What do you see? <laughs> Come on. Deep. A man in a uniform behind, in front of the flag of the United States. Of deeper, honey. Come on. Work with me. Deeper emotionally. What that man, that man that you know, that mm -hmm. man that you see, who do you see? An 18 year old? A man that don't know nothing about being a man. Go deeper. I don't know how to go deeper okay. than that. What do you mean? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Put it down. A scared man? Keep on going. A sad man? Keep on going. A, go deeper, an huh? An angry man. Keep on going. A hurt man. So what do you see? A hurt man. You see an 18-year-old boy mm -hmm. in a man's uniform mm -hmm. trying to figure things out. Right. Go deep. Yeah. That's where we're going. Okay. 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 All right, you can put that picture now. Okay. So what I see that the bag that you gave me, I see... Oh my gosh, where did you find that picture? <laughs> I see... I see... A, oh my gosh, that's I see like ancient. <laughs> so what I see is, I see a teenage girl who was raised by some wonderful parents who are teaching her about life, teaching her about uh, what to expect in, a, in relationships. I see a girl who's ready to move forward in her life. So this is the person that I see. Next picture. Oh, there's more. What do you see? Oh, I see a man who is realizing that he's becoming, um, he's needed. And he's a father, he's a husband, and he's still trying to figure this thing out. But he's, uh, he's, he's aware. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. I see a, I see a woman who is preparing to get married. I see a woman who is looking for someone to give her security, for someone to not hurt her, for someone to protect her, for a man to say, um, I'm going to do this until death do us part. I see that woman. Mm. Okay. That's deep. What else you got? This one? What do you see? I see a man yeah, holding his daughter at her wedding, um, realizing that that's the last time he'll be responsible for her. Hmm. So you see, you see me then. Mm -hmm. I see a little Aww. boy who was born, and the doctor said that he would not survive. And I see, mm. uh, I saw this boy come out of that woman. So. I saw uh, a mother who was probably scared. I saw a mother who was probably, her faith was strong, but yet it was still scary. Uh, so that's what I see mm. when I see this picture, I see you. Wow, that's deep. I'm trying to go deep, honey. That's very deep. That gave me goosies, goosebumps. Keep going. What do you see? Oh, this is a picture of Derek praying with a lot of men after he ministered to them. Man, I see. I see men circling you who all have realized that everyone is struggling with the same thing and that it's okay to come together and say that. Mm. That's, that's, that's it. Mm -hmm. I love this picture. That's men praying, holding each other up. It's powerful. This is us preaching. I see us trying to convey a message and you're reflecting on that message as I talk about the role of the wife. Mm -hmm. I see you kind of reminiscing about 
what you needed when you married me. Mm-hmm. As I was talking about the role of the wife. Mm-hmm. It's deep. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're going deep in this, in this episode. What else Aww. do you see in there? A couple of more. Oh. I see the people that made you and the ability to give life and what that means is if not for them I wouldn't have you yeah. their experience and I see Aww. people that gave birth to you wow and I see life and I see I see you in them <laughs> that's what I see Okay. Wow. Okay. Is there more? Let's see. Is there more? Nah, it's one of us. What do you see? I see us. Uh, I think we're in California here. I see us um, just content, but yet hopeful on possibilities for our ministry because we had mm. just begun doing ministry right. in this picture. What about this picture here? Oh, we weren't even married we yet. That's married. our engagement shot. I see. I see that I was really tired. Yeah, you didn't like those pictures. <laughs> I didn't like these pictures you at all. You did good though. Knowing you now, and you tolerated about that, that, that photo was, shoot. I did because that was like, what and the I heck didn't even am I realize that you were doing, you didn't like that kind of stuff. That but we you know what doing. I saw in this picture? And you. I saw that you loved love. Mm. It was important to you. Mm-hmm. That's what I saw. No. Okay. That's an old picture. So two my more goodness. on my end. Two more on my end. You ready? Yeah. So in this picture. Ah, oh, what do you see? That's a picture of me and my sister at our I, homecoming. I, I see. I see a sisterhood that was incredible that I've never seen before. A bond that was incredible. And I see that it was special. That's what I see. Yeah. And this picture mm. I that's see at her funeral. That's at her funeral. And I see Sonia's heart ripped apart. I see a woman who um, was hurting and a family who was hurting. So that's what I see. Hmm. Wow. Um, and finally, last one. How come you have more pictures than me? I just miscounted. You guys all couldn't find the pictures. And I see us. Hmm. I see us moving forward. I see the hope that we have. I see feel, me feeling safe. You're looking right in that camera, too. Yeah. Like smizing. That's what I see. Mm-hmm. So, so what? What? The purpose of, of this is that being able to see your spouse as they see themselves in the mirror. You know, Sonia was able to look at my pictures and see me. And so, as you go through your marriage, it's important to see your spouse. Do you see your spouse? Maybe you want to do this exercise. Maybe you want to get some pictures and just talk about. Yeah, I see. I see this woman. Something happened. Something changed. Mm. But that's who I really see, because pictures tell a lot of stories. And so, you know, when you look in the mirror, being able to look at yourself and then look at your spouse, and go deeper into what you see. So it's almost like a two-way mirror. When you, when when you're talking about that, I'm thinking that I have to see myself when you're pointing things out to me. But you're seeing me hmm. as I'm pointing those things out from a perspective of why am I saying these things? Why am I this way? Right. So you have to understand who I am to understand why I'm saying the things I'm saying to you. But right. I have to look at myself and understand right. who I'm saying these things to. Right. And why am I saying these things to you? So it's like a two-way mirror. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good lesson, honey. I didn't know you were going to go there with, with that topic. I know. That's good. I was impressed I like it. There. That's good. Good stuff. Yeah. So let's close it out. Okay. So marriage is a mirror. You're going to see yourself in a way you've never seen before. If you're getting engaged or preparing to get married, this may seem like 
you know, new territory or maybe just unfamiliar um, content. Um, but I hope that it will prepare you to be open to seeing what your spouse sees, your potential spouse sees, if you are um, planning to get married. A lot of people that are talking about getting married watch these vlogs. So I didn't want to leave you guys out. Um, I wish kind of had, I wish that was stimulated in me when Derek and I were talking about getting married. And those that are married um, this week, take some deliberate thought into how your spouse sees you. Go back to some of the things that he or she said to you that you might have had a defensive stance about. But after this vlog, maybe it caused you to go back and reflect on maybe what they were saying might be true or there may be some relevance to it or even there's a reason why they're saying the things they're saying. And I'm not talking about like, hurtful disrespectful things you say in anger i'm talking about things that come out as you're engaging each other in honest conversation even though sometimes in conflict you will get the honest conversation and so you know you may have to figure out what was true and what was said out of hurt um, but at the end of the day your spouse's perspective of you is significant mm -hmm. You know, I had to change. I had to learn to say I'm sorry. I had to learn to apologize. Um, I had to learn to not be so abrasive, you know, with what it is I was trying to get across. I, I love debating. My temperament is choleric. We're the lions. We love to roar. I had to learn how to tame some of that lion. Um, Derek didn't like all of that. And he saw me that way. And that was important to me. So I think it's so important to hear what your spouse's perspective is of you and make a decision to make some of those changes so that you can be that spouse um, that causes that person to feel heard, to feel valued, to feel accepted. And you know, again, we're not talking about making changes that are superficial just for the other person to you know feel better. We're talking about um, changes in you that may be devaluing or violating your spouse's core. And that's kind of different from just, you know, changing the external. So um, who you are is really a reflection of what your spouse sees. So now that you know. Now that you know, go ahead and get a mirror and put it up. And put now it in that face. you know, what, what you, you going to do with, with it? it? Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take good care of yourself. Bye. Bye-bye.